Good morning, everyone. We are here live with two of our fabulous doll doctors, and we are going to be talking hair, wigs and hair, and styling your dolls, and what to do and how to start. So if you guys have questions, ask them now live, and we will answer them for you. So we're going to turn this around, and we are here starting first Miss Linda. Good morning, Linda. Good morning. And... Tell us a little bit about what you're doing right now with this wig. Well, the wig is a human hair wig, and it's all matted. It's really needing quite a lot of help, but it's not. It's in good shape. But because it's matted, we aren't going to be able to style it. So the first thing we have to put it on what we call our, our head. So this is a little prop that you use to put your wig on there and start styling it. And I prefer to use a metal piece so it doesn't make static. And literally you just go piece by piece. You can see that the wefting here has been sewn onto the fabric. So before you can style it, you've got to unknot everything just like a child's hair before you braid it you got to nut their hair. And this is an antique human hair wig. If you guys are just tuning in, we are here in a doll hospital and we are getting some tips and tricks and information on styling hair for your doll. So this is a human hair wig and Linda is going through it with a metal tool so it doesn't cause it's static. Yeah, it's a comb. And right now she is in the beginning stages of basically unknotting it so that it can be styled yes so you're just going through weft by weft, weft by weft and kind of combing it out and I'm always stabilizing it here at the base so you aren't disturbing and this is worth doing because human hair wigs are expensive and they're harder to find, especially if you have an antique human hair wig. It's definitely worth the time, energy, and effort to to do this. Now, how do you determine if it's not worth your effort if it's too far gone? Well, I would probably take the what they call the wefting off and then make another pate or a, a wig cap and then restitch it on. I would save the hair. Okay. And, but, um, as long as we have the human hair, I would go ahead and save it. And you can see that you can make a wig cap, but right now I'm just, and then if you have the time, you can always clean this hair just like you clean your own. But then again, you're going to, after that, you have to let it dry and then you will uh, put conditioner on it just like a little conditioner and then you will have to go back through this process but it won't take as long as when it's dirty now this is underneath and you can see that it's all knotted and if we don't unknot this it will make her hair stand out like if you have real strong curls under your hairline it will make your hair stand out so I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that this is all in done before I'll go and pin it on. And this baby's, this is, belongs to this doll. And you can see when we get ready to, we have this rat's nest right here. I don't know where her paint went, but it's here. You can see that right now she's sort of in shambles. Right, but she, yeah, she's getting her makeover and it already looks a lot better than even just the start of this video. So it's going to take some time and effort, but it's going to look very good. So how can you style, you said that you wash it the same way you would wash human hair with shampoo and conditioner. Mm -hmm. Can you style it with the same styling products that you would, that you could use I on a human? Use, I never use products. I just use the curling iron and it's, we use the different sizes compare, you know, depending on the doll's size, because little dolls need the little curls. Or you can use on mohair wigs, you can use straws also. 
when they're very small. Straws. Straws. Drink okay. straws, and then you curl them and let them dry. So if this was a, if this was a straw, I could take this, and this would be wet, and I would, so, and I would curl it, and then I would take a straight pin. If this was a straw, okay, and then just leave it overnight. Mm -hmm. Correct. And you don't use products, so no hairspray, no volumizing mousse. No. Okay. Because it just attracts bugs. It attracts bugs. Okay, that's a very good tip. It attracts bugs, you guys. So that, uh, if you're styling your doll's hair at home, that is a very good tip to keep in mind. Now, this is a human hair wig. Can we do the same thing with a wig like this? Is this mohair? This is human hair. This is human hair. This is mohair. Okay, so let's look at a mohair wig. I wanted to show a way that I would comb that one. Okay. Lucy wants to show you. How Lucy's going to show us a way that she well, would comb a not, wig like this. This is human hair, and Linda's got that pin down. Good. So Linda's working on the human hair wig over there. This is a mohair wig that has just been pulled out by Lucy, and this one's much smaller. I use a needle, this big needle. And I've done it for a long time, and I go through like this, the dust and the dirt and the movement can be enhanced with just this large needle. Look what's happening, how fast and how shiny it becomes, and it just goes right through. When you have a smaller wig, the mohair is softer than human hair wig. You have more um, elasticity, kind yeah. of of the hair. Now oh. some of it it's fallen out. So <laughs> is that the, yeah. what if you don't want the the hair to fall out? I guess on I, a portion of it you is all to is always going to fall out. Very, you you just be just very gentle. Be, that's why this you can control so well. And um, around it goes, and it's already looking. Now a mohair wig, can we curl it the same as a with the curling iron mm -hmm. as human hair? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't burn. Oh, sure it would burn. So would the human hair. Yes, I guess if you left it on long enough, we've like we've probably all hairs. experienced that. Yeah. yeah, it does. It does. So you have to leave it on the same amount of time you'd leave it on your own hair, which is four to five seconds, maybe, depending on the heat of the iron and the thickness of your hair. hair. Mm -hmm. And where you but see how that the darkness, and then you come through with this. And it, it just lightens it up, opens it up, so that you can go ahead. Especially like a Shirley wig, where you don't want to have to redo this wig. You want to keep the original and all the little curls. And just the, the needle can just come right along and pick that up. Um, and because a, a brush w would be too hard on it. Right. You would lose so much with a brush. That's why um, Linda's working with a comb. See, this brush is going to take too much. It looks like it's easier. It looks like it goes faster. but It just takes, oh, oh no. You don't want that. No, you don't. And that's why I like it. So the mohair is fragile. It comes out. That's why I like using just this a needle. I do it with. Here's a little Asian wig for this beautiful little doll, and I'm just going to use this like so. Then the one other wig that we talked about is the. Uh, um, it's called caric. A caracal wig. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is one that needs repair, and we'll do this with. Um, kid gloves. We're lucky here. We have a whole drawer full of old kid gloves. So don't throw away your grandmother's kid glove. And because this is soft and will bend and will go in 
and recap this. I was like so these caracal wigs are personally one of my favorite kind of wigs on a doll and so this one has split a little bit with time and you're going to go in and uh, repair we're gonna, it. Uh -huh. We're going to make a new cap with some kid leather, kid mm -hmm. leather. from an antique pair of gloves and do you just go yeah. in and glue it? Uh huh. Yep. With a good uh, tacky glue. glue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then again on this one, look how this livens up. So using that needle is a is a great tool. It is. It's just a good old needle. And it's perking that up beautifully. So let's see. So you did human and mohair. We have looked at, so we have looked at human and mohair, and then I wanted to talk about synthetic wigs because synthetic wigs are, here's an example of a synthetic wig. Now, the, the synthetic material is made out of, it's almost like a form of plastic. Wouldn't you agree, Linda? I agree. And so you do not want to get that hot at all. It will melt immediately. It will. But you can um, clean this by putting it in soap and water okay and then if you're real gentle if it's really a mess you can restyle it by using your hands and getting the curls or maybe yeah. that straw technique the straw technique so if it is synthetic not all is lost you can restyle and do a couple things but do not use heat but on the mohair and the human hair you can style them much like you would just style your own hair so this one right here is human hair and it looks pretty darn good the curls could just be gently gently uh, restyled a little bit but that one's pretty good this this is a nice antique human hair wig that came on this doll maybe originally definitely the right time period so to preserve it and not put on a mohair wig or even worse a synthetic wig on a nice antique doll like that it's, it is worth the time and effort, but this is something that you guys can actually do at home, and you might enjoy it. So you're just going from the top to the bottom, weft by weft. And we, when we get ready to style it, we're going to style it just like we do our own hair with the curling iron. <laughs> I'll put it on her and decide how, where the curls start. And where can somebody buy a, a metal teasing comb? Prob uh, any beauty supply type store? Yeah. I think so. It's, you can also use, I've used my... You could use plastic. I've used my scissors. Just like this. If I don't have it. Or like Lucy uses a needle. Uh-huh. A hat pin. But do not use a toothpick. Toothpick frays your hair. Yes, and it can cause uh, damage and split ends, and basically all the same. All the same rules apply to a human hair or mohair wig for your doll that they do for your own head. So, if you have some tips and tricks for your own hair, then you can apply it, which is nice. So we're going to tune in a little bit later once you've styled this how much further are you going to go as far as styling this wig i'm going to take these rats out of here which is for bangs and then i'm going to put it back on the doll and then i'm going to start styling in a few minutes and i might have to do some a little bit of trimming and you always trim this way going in never like this right because then it sometimes is too blunt. short and blunt and it just never turns out the way that you meant it oh my head needs to be repaired. do you have see, another see that on that big human hair wig like that linda's and other end of the rat tail comb the rat tail 
It's the same theory as the needle. It's and just a larger, basically a larger needle. Sure. And so these are curling irons that you use on on the doll wigs and so that would be a, a quite a large wig that's probably a one and a half inch barrel or so and that looks like maybe a half inch barrel and then we have another one so we just we just could go into this little one for the, our little guys oh perfect that's a little little quarter inch barrel there you go <laughs> so we hope this video was helpful and gave you guys a couple tips on how to style your doll at home, just like with humans, a wonderful hairstyle or a, a new look or just a little refreshing of your do can make a big difference. So don't be afraid and, and, and don't do too much, just do little by little. You can always do more, but you can't usually go back, especially if you're trimming, so. She is looking good. She will be pretty. Thank you for your tips. And if you guys enjoyed our tips and our video, please share with all of your friends. And of course, thank you for liking our page.